Hello everyone, it's Angela here today. Today we're going to talk about some misconceptions about linguistics Olympiad. When I say linguistics, I often get responses like, ill, grammar. When I say linguistics Olympiad, I get reactions like, what? Did you make that up? There's only maths and science Olympiads. What are you talking about? Linguistics. It is always seen as a difficult and obscure subject. And Linguistics Olympiad just seems like an out of blue competition. Today, we're going to break down some misconceptions about Linguistics Olympiad. Firstly, Linguistics Olympiad is not just some random competition. It is one of the 30 International Science Olympiads for Secondary Students and has been held annually since 2003. The first Linguistics Olympiad originated in Moscow in 1965 through the efforts of many talented linguists. Over the years, other countries started to organise Linguistics Olympiad and eventually this resulted in the forthcoming of the International Linguistics Olympiad, known as IRL. The first IRL was held in 2003 in Bulgaria, and during the time of its existence, school students from more than 40 countries had the chance to participate in it. Secondly, I need to know all about linguistics to participate well in this competition. Well, that is totally not the case. Linguistics Olympiad problems are self-sufficient, which means it is in a foreign language that basically no one understands. How you solve it is through logical and analytical thinking. Most importantly, no prior knowledge is required for the Olympiad. Everything is given to you in the question. It is beneficial for you to understand a little about linguistics, but you can do as well if you don't. Thirdly, Linguistics Olympiad is not that challenging and familiar as Maths and Science Olympiad. Well, that annoys me so much. Do you have to look at some foreign script and language in a maths olympiad? Do you have to analyse this language knowing nothing about it and then translate it? All olympiads are equally challenging. Linguistics olympiad are just a different type of olympiad. The fourth point. Linguistics is all about language. The olympiad is all about language as well and you'll have an advantage if you are bilingual. Well, bilingual people have a lot of advantages, but not in this case. Being bilingual actually don't give you much of an advantage because most of the problems are really rare and only several hundreds of people speak it today. So it is as equal for everyone. And as I said before, the Olympiad is more about logic and decoding parts of words and sentences rather than knowing and then learning this language. So above are some misconceptions about Linguistics Olympiad. And indeed, it is not just for students who are good at languages. Personally, I am more of a math student than an English student. And from my experience, Solving logically for these problems are more of an advantage for maths and science students. So that's all for today and hope you learnt something about Linguistics Olympiad and hopefully you'll try it out soon. Thank you and subscribe for more videos.